What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be breaking down how you guys can recreate the statue AI effect. The AI has really been trending right now, and I've really been loving a ton of the effect. I've seen this specific AI effect used with statues, with demons, and a bunch of other stuff. And obviously, with artificial intelligence, you guys can really spit whatever you want in and get a completely different output. So in that sense, it's super creative and versatile. And this AI method is going to be 100% free, so you guys can hop on and do it yourself right now. Let's get straight into it. Right now, I'm in Premiere Pro, and I've got a couple clips from some of Babytron's music videos. We're just going to use these to recreate this AI effect. First AI effect is going to be that statue effect where we kind of turn the subject into a statue and it kind of rotates between all of the different variations. And the first step of this is actually just going to be taking a ton of different screenshots from our clip. So I want the effect to maybe start here and end at the end of this clip. And I'm going to go ahead to this camera. And what this camera is going to do is export the frame. So if we click on this, it will ask for the name. And what I like to do just to say organize is label these by frame number. So this would be frame number one. Uh, the format, I like to do PNG. And then the path, this is completely up to you. I suggest just to keep yourself organized to make a folder dedicated to these AI renders. Then you'll just hit OK and export that. Then you go ahead to the second frame, hit that export frame again. And this time I'll name it two and hit OK again. And you're going to just continue this process for as many frames as you want to create this effect for. Now, as you can see in my AI folder, I've got all of these different frames and this is exactly what we want. Step two, this is going to be going to deepai.org. And what they have here is this image editor API. Here, we're just going to go ahead to upload our image. So I'm going to go ahead and click number one and hit open. And then this is going to be where you enter the prompt. So you just want to spit in whatever you want the AI to do. And for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do make my subject a dark gray Greek statue. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click generate. And it does take a second to generate. But as you can see, we've now got Baby Tron as a Greek statue and it looks super sick. But what I want to go ahead and do is just click enhance. And this is just going to make it HD. And once we've gone ahead and done that, we can click on download. And just like that, it's going to automatically download to our computer. And basically, you're just going to rinse and repeat this for every single frame. But here, I would go to image and then I would select two hit open. I'm going to keep the exact same prompt and hit generate. See, it's made a second variation. We're just going to go ahead and enhance this and then we'll go ahead and download this as well. What you guys want to do is just do that for every frame and hop back in Premiere. So now back in Premiere Pro, what you want to go ahead and do is import all of these frames that you went ahead and generated. I'm going to go ahead and drag on the first frame and then I'm just going to go one frame forward and cut this, delete the excess. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag on my second frame and do the same exact process. So now scrubbing over, we've got the first two frames done. I'm just going to go ahead and do it for the rest of the frames. And as you can see, now I have all of my frames laid out if i go ahead and play that back it's going to look like this and it already looks pretty sick but we're going to go ahead and add some extra sauce to this first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is create a new adjustment layer and down here we can do new item then we can go to adjustment layer hit okay i'm just going to drag this on top of all of my ai frames next i'm going to go to my effects and grab a transform i'm going to drag this on my adjustment layer here i'm going to go ahead and keyframe the position and the scale at the very beginning then scrub to the very last frame i'm going to go ahead and zoom it in and position it on babytron's face i'm also going to highlight these keyframes i'm going to right click and then select visor and i'm also going to set the shutter angle to 360. now playing that back we've got the zoom in effect and I think that really ties it together. Finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead and add some shakes and flashes. I'm gonna drag another adjustment layer on the beginning. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make it about six frames long. And I want it to have a little bit of a shake in. So I'm just gonna go into the music video essentials presets and go to the shakes. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the diagonal subtle and drag that on. Playing that back, we've now got this subtle shake on this effect. And I think it looks super sick. So now I'm just going to go ahead and position another adjustment layer over the back end. I'm going to go into the flashes and I'm just going to throw on the basic flash and see what that looks like. In that back, I think the flashes really ties out the transition. I'd say that's the finished AI effect right there. So I did want to go ahead and show you guys a second variation where you kind of switch the background instead of switching the subject. For this, we're going to do the same process as the first effect I showed you. Wherever we want this AI effect to happen, we're just going to go ahead and export the frames, name the first one one, go frame forward, export the next one, name it two. Now we're going to hop back on deep AI. I'm going to go ahead and upload an image and I'm just going to go ahead and select the first frame and open this up. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch up the prompt so that it affects the entire image. And for this prompt, I'm going to put ancient Greece, make everything stone. And obviously you guys can put whatever prompt you want in whatever style you're going for. And as you can see, it's completely transformed this frame into kind of like a Greece Coliseum. And I think it looks super sick. I'm going to go ahead and enhance this. And again, we're going to go ahead and download the HD version. And you guys just want to go ahead and rinse or repeat this with all of your frames. Now in Premiere Pro, I went ahead and imported all of my different renders as you can see we got some crazy results like this one right here is pretty crazy this one it turned baby tron into like a stack of rocks again we just want to go ahead and drag them frame by frame and put them in order the exact same way that we did the last one and once you guys have all of those frames in order it should look something like this actually need for this next effect is a rotoscope of your subject if you guys did want to go ahead and do that in after effects all you have to do is just duplicate your base layer so now we've got our base clip right here i'm going to right click 
replace with After Effects composition, and then in After Effects, you go ahead and rotoscope out your subject. It would end up looking something like this. I've got a rotoscope of Babytron right here, but you just want to put this rotoscope on top of all of these frames. And now, if I play that back, we've got this super sick background flashing effect, and I think it looks super sick. So again, we're going to go ahead and add some extra sauce to this. I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy this adjustment layer and drag it on top of our next one. going to adjust it to the size and then just move the keyframes back. I go ahead and adjust the keyframe where it zooms in so that's more on Babytron's face. And as you can see, we've got that same zoom in effect. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on another adjustment layer for a shake in the beginning. Going back to the essentials pack, I think this time I'm gonna go with the shake flash and I think I'm gonna go with the subtle shake flash and throw that on. Now it's got that super sick shake flash into that AI effect and I think it really just ties it together. Also, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys wanna see next. I read all your guys' comments. If you guys do wanna copy the essential presets, I'll have them linked in the description below. Thank you so much for the support. Go on the five essential music video transitions you need in 2023 click right here thank you to once you check out this video down here follow me on instagram join the discord i will see you guys in the next one later